Ed Rindell is a former governor of Pennsylvania. A Democratic convention is going to be held in his uh, home state. He's also former head of the Democratic National Committee. Uh, now that uh, is pretty much the establishment. Uh, that's an insider as much as it gets. Now, uh, I know Ed Rindell a little bit, and so I've been partial to him as a human being. <laughs> I actually got his autograph when I went to Penn. Uh, he was the mayor of Philly back then. It was the first autograph I ever got. So I don't dislike Ed Rindell. I like Ed Rindell as a person. Okay. Nonetheless, I'm going to show you how wrong he is. Uh, his, uh, and by the way, I should add one other thing. When I was a host on MSNBC, uh, Rindell would be on the show all the time, and you'll find uh, this old clip on YouTube. I had Ed Rindell and Bernie Sanders on the show at the same time, and Ed Rindell did nothing but agree with Bernie Sanders. Bernie's right, Senator Sanders is right. Now, of course, being part of the Democratic Party establishment, he's completely in favor of Hillary Clinton, and he's got a message for the Sanders supporters. Tone it down. So he's on a radio show here. Let's listen to the first clip. Hillary uh, is in? Yes, Hillary Clinton, even though she lost in Indiana, she won almost half the delegates and enough to put her over the top. She's going to be the nominee, but she can't lose the next five or six primaries to Bernie Sanders, even though he won't pick up many delegates uh, over her, because then she'd go in not only wounded, but then the Sanders people would think somehow they'd say, well, Bernie won all the last primaries. He should have been the nominee. Hillary needs to win New Jersey, she needs to win Puerto Rico, she needs to win uh, D.C., and most of all, she needs to win California to make to convince the Sanders voters that they lost fair and square and they should bite their lip and come to the polls and support Hillary in November to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't become president. So I want to explain that so far he said nothing offensive, okay? He, he's saying Hillary should win the upcoming states if she doesn't want Bernie Sanders supporters to have a good argument. He's not saying uh, that, hey, Bernie should get out of the race now. In fact, he's saying Hillary should try harder to win going forward. And if she has more delegates, well, she's the nominee. Uh, those points are perfectly fair. What he says next is the troubling part. The historic backdrop of Philadelphia is going to be a, a great uh, uh, venue for Hillary to accept the nomination. I think it's going to be a great convention. But, of course, key to it is... Sanders people, Bernie's going to have his name placed in nomination. We're going to have a roll call. There's going to be a demonstration in support of Bernie. He's going to lose the roll call. His supporters have to behave and not cause trouble. And I think they will. And I think Senator Sanders will send them a strong message. Okay. So now you've got a clear assumption that Hillary Clinton has already won. Okay, I hear you. But a lot of people make that assumption. It's not that big a deal. But then he says, hey, listen, Sanders supporters, you better behave. Know your role. Now, as a person who supports the Democratic Party, I know why he says that. He, he doesn't want to lose Donald Trump, and he wants his party to win. And he's been a Hillary Clinton surrogate throughout and, and supports her. So none of that is that surprising. But the assumption is what's bothersome, right? That it's not incumbent upon Hillary Clinton to sh show that she's a true progressive and say, hey, listen, I'm reaching out, and I'm not reaching out by promising positions to Sanders supporters or to Sanders himself. I'm reaching out saying, hey, you know what? My, I'll give you one example, although I think there are much deeper examples. But my bad. You know, I, I said $12 minimum wage, but as we just showed in New York, it turns out we can do a $15 minimum wage. Senator Sanders was right, and thank God he fought for that. I'm now uh, in that camp. Thank you, Senator Sanders. And thank you all the people who voted for Senator Sanders to get me to that position. And I'm sorry I should have gotten there earlier and you guys were right. See, wouldn't that be amazing? And it really costs her nothing to say that. That's really the easiest thing in the world to say. Now, there are deeper issues on Wall Street. Those, you know, she can huff and puff about how she's going to regulate Wall Street. She ain't going to do it. For 40 years, corporations and Wall Street have been given to the Clinton family. They didn't give in the year 38 and 39 because they got screwed in the previous 37 years. No, they've been giving for 40 years because the Clintons have been delivering for corporate America for all that time. Okay, So she's not going to change her position on that. Now, she might pretend to change her position, and I guess in trying to woo Sanders supporters, that would be helpful. right? But the bottom line is it's incumbent upon her to win over those voters. She's not entitled to those voters. Whereas here, Governor Rendell seems to be suggesting, hey, you've been cute little boys and girls so far. 
but I need you to behave. Know your role. Your role was, oh, okay, let's pull Hillary Clinton a little bit to the left or have her at least pretend to go a little bit to the left and then bow your heads and go, yes, Madam Secretary, I present to you my vote. That's not how it works in a democratic process. So whether they quote unquote behave or not is up to Clinton and her supporters in the Democratic Party. If you're going to keep taking all that corporate cash and delivering for the corporations as the entire Democratic Party, with notable exceptions like Bernie Sanders, has done for decades and decades and just keep giving them uh, most of the tax cuts that they want, most of the uh, regulation uh, that they want or the deed regulation that they want and the list goes on and all the trade deals that they want, well no, then we won't bow our heads and you can't ask people to behave while you guys don't serve those voters, you serve the corporate donors instead. And if you don't like that, that's not Bernie Sanders fault, that's not Bernie Sanders responsibility, that's your responsibility to actually get those voters by doing the right thing.